Hey guys, welcome back to another season of this Manchester United save. We're about to start the season 25-26. Off the back of doing the treble last season, we're about to go again. So here goes. So in the middle of last season, I asked you guys to vote for this season's budget. You guys have voted for 75 million plus the 45 million, which majority of it was used for the Diogo Costa deal so we have roughly 78 million remaining to spend in this window we've already outlined our target for the CDM role which is going to be Sandro Tanali. Uh, some of you guys have suggested other players who which I've uh, added to the shortlist but Chavi Simmons is the next guy in line that we could potentially go in for while we're on the topic of transfers we're going to talk a bit about the players that are up for sale so the likes of Casemiro who's getting on with age he's age 33 is overall still quite high he can still do a job within the squad, but because of his squad role, he's going to want to be involved a bit more than uh, he's actually going to be if we do end up keeping him. So hopefully we can get in a respectable bid for him. Martial, you guys have been calling for his head for some time. Onana, this is a personal one for me. He just, he just has to go. And after that, we have a few young players that need to go out on loan to experience some first team football. So uh, yeah, there's going to be some movement during the course of this video. Okay, so first departure is Anthony Martial. He's actually going to Marseille, last year's finalist for about 40 million. So I know a lot of you guys are going to be glad to see him out of the door. Second player to leave is Andre Onana. He's going to leave for about 60 million to Al Itihad. He's going to be joining Benzema and potentially Kante. Happy to see the back of him. No more mistakes, hopefully. So, annoying news. We've had our first official attempt to go in for Tonali rebuff. So, they've rejected it. We went in with a 95 million bid and we didn't want to offer anything more than 110 million. So, I'm assuming it's going to take the big bucks to go in and get our main target. Hopefully, we'll be able to land them before we actually start pre-season, which we're in the 13th of uh, July right now. And uh, we've got about 168 million to spend. So, I'm trying to spend wisely. I'm trying to spend wisely because we've got other players that we want to actually uh, go in for other positions to bolster. But we are going to try and go back in for Tenali just before preseason starts and see how we get on. Okay, so we're going to have a little sit down with our little buddy, Eddie Howe. We already had a sit down last season for his star midfielder, Gimarej. Hopefully, we can do the same and actually hash out a deal for the likes of Tenali. So we've got a bit of a friendly relationship going on. So the first offer, 100 million. Before it was 95, we're going to go up by 5 million. Let's see what they've got to say for the first attempt. So 128 million, that's what they've come back with. 119. Okay, so it's getting a bit tense. It's getting a bit, it's getting a bit tense. So we're just going to sell for 120 million. Um, so we're going to have roughly 100 million to spend if this does go through. Let's see if uh, Eddie Howe's going to accept this. To be fair, we're going above the, the asking price he's resorted to. But I'd rather just get this out of the way get it done and uh done signed sealed and delivered okay we officially now have 220 million in the bank now that this deal is going to go through for Casemiro he's now going to leave to the likes of Bayer Leverkusen we're not selling him to any rival clubs opposition such as Chelsea and Liverpool put in a formal bid but we uh rebuffed them and we've gone for Bayer Leverkusen instead okay so Sandro Tonali is now officially a Manchester United player we have spent 120 million on our star signing on our top target so he's going to sign for about four seasons giving him 190k per week and he's going to be a crucial player as you guys should come to expect tonight he's just going to sit nicely in this spot in the team sheet so preseason is now here we're going to take on the lights of real madrid villarreal and uh athletic bilbao in the american challenge cup because obviously the glazers are american better it was better to go to america for preseason tournament we got west ham united to kick off uh the community shield with the cur curtain razor the community shield at wembley we've got ben Fika in the super cup um, after that and then we've got Chelsea to kick the season off again uh, here goes here goes I guess so yeah we're going to play um, the pre-season tournament first off camera and then we're going to regroup at West Ham United as you guys already know we've uh, brought in two major players Diogo Costa and Tonali so we're going to get a feel for them Tonali's probably going to play in, in, in the middle of the preseason tournament it's not going to start right away as you guys can see his sharpness is quite low we are going to test out other players and after that we're going to recap the players that have gone out on loan as well because there's several faces missing so there's a few players that won't get the opportunity to actually play with the first team in the preseason hey i don't know how we've done it i don't know how we've done it boys but we've managed to get the signature of chavi simmons not on a permanent deal on a loan deal and there's a loan to buy as well potentially reaching 89 million 
Uh, hopefully he can live up to expectations. So we've got two more deals waiting to get over the line. For Kyle Tomori, we are negotiating a contract with him now. 84.4 million has been put in for him. So AC Milan, they've gone ahead and accepted that. So we've delegated the contract negotiations to the assistant manager offering him between 150k per week and 180k per week. Another player that we're going to bring in is Sam Johnston. Yes, we're bringing in a third choice goalkeeper boring boring yes i know however it does help me complete one of the objectives which uh, is to sign um two players of the same nationality of your club so bring in english players essentially and that's going to be tomori and sam johnston who used to play for man united's academy anyway so yeah uh, bring back a familiar face it's not gonna hurt the glazers is it they always do it every season where we need to sign three crucial players in this uh summer window or the january window or in the window this season altogether uh, that's a very low priority we've only signed one out of three the rest is to win the premier league fa cup and the champions league and as you guys already know about the nationality um, objective uh, get five wins and cut matches so i think that's uh, attaining to the fa cup and the carabao cup there's no development plan for the youth academy at all so right now um, there's a good chance that we're probably going to get off scot free by the end of the season as long as we do well in the league champions league and in the fa cup in terms of signings up until this point we spent a lot of money uh, 120 million on tanali which is our record signing to date right now on nana we got a lot of money for him 60 million 52 million for casemiro 45 million for luke shaw 44 million for varan 40 million for uh, martial barboza we sold him shatire we sold him uh, quite a few other faces have left the club as well we've had a few loan offers loan deals go uh, go the opposite way so may knew he's gone out on loan to afc bournemouth we already know about uh, the loan move for for richardson and wisdom ali uh, we also got Lopez, he's gone out on loan to Southampton. So there's a lot of movement going on within the club and uh, we're spending quite a lot of money, sp spending quite a lot of dough. But I'm still confident that we'll be able to actually challenge. It, it will take some time for the new boys to gel into the squad. I almost forgot to give you guys a rundown of what happened in pre-season. We had some really good results. 3-2 against Real Madrid, that was a close call. We battered Villarreal 5-1, which was a really impressive. Bruno Fernandes scored a free kick. We got a good goal um, also, I think, from uh, Garnacho. He scored an overhead kick. And then we also got a goal from Maru uh, against Athletic Bilbao. So uh, we won 4-2 in, um, in that game. So we beat all three of those Spanish sides. I want to see how we actually uh, got on in the standings did we win the american challenge cup that's the question yeah we did we won all three of our games uh pipping uh the well the trophy to real madrid and juventus who finished level on points with a uh, six point okay so it's time to take a quick trip to wembley we are going to rotate quite a bit uh, we are going to see the lights of uh, Tanali get a start over Zaya Emery. We're going to play Garnacho instead of Anthony. Fernandez can completely rest. We're going to play Mason Mount, start him over uh, Bruno Fernandez. Bring on Xavi Simmons off the bench. Uh, he can make his debut, have a little cameo. Fringpong, he's not sharp, so we're going to leave him in the reserves. And we're going to have Fernandez starting over Malasso. So we're going to completely rotate um, a lot of the fringes. Did play well in the preseason tournament so i'm confident that even though we're rotating we can still go on to win i know west ham united uh, punished us for rotating in the cup last season but it's a different year and i'm really confident that these players they get the gist of what i want them to do on the pitch so yeah without further ado let's head off into this first game of this episode and hopefully uh, we can uh, get a victory over the line marcus rashford standing over this one just need to try and get up and over this wall. Rashford sets up to hit it. Hits it. Ooh, just a nice save there. Forced by uh, Marcus Rashford. Ariola tips out for a corner kick out from the back. Oh, nice flick on there from uh, Marcus Rashford. Oh, Gimarez right in front of goal. How's he not put that away? I was aiming for the top left corner. Ariola pulls off another magnificent save. Ben Rama, Taglifico. Oh, he's not made the, the low, but luckily Mason Mount was there alert to pick up the loose ball for United. Rashford. Gimarej. Gimarej. Oh, try to thread it in the gap. He does. K-Rock lets it go through. Hoyland. Left foot strike. Again, Ariola. Uh, gets a strong right hand to it. Pressure coming forward or going forward. Well done, Rashford. Traps back, does his defensive duties. 
Gimarej. Spurs play out to the right hand side. Got a natural running at Taglafico. He's going to get the better of the Argentine. Definitely does. Garnacho, ball crossed in, back post is Marcus Rashford and we've opened the scoring in style. We've opened the scoring in style. What a ball in from our number seven. Marcus Rashford, the best in the world, puts it away for 1-0. One last look at that ball. So inviting, so inviting. And I, I just knew the moment, the moment the ball landed in front of Rashford, no matter what he'd done, whether it was a diving header, an acrobatic, it was going to hit the back of the net. Ariola finally beaten Tapsuba. Yeah, this uh, formulating triangles, moving this ball about, looking really good in possession. Ball dinked over the top, intercepted by Alvarez. We win the ball high up the pitch with Tatsuba. Let's go, Delo. Sandro Tonali on his left foot, going to have a crack over the bar it goes. Bowen, one more four down his right hand side. Vasquez plays it back on the inside. Bowen on his left foot. Moves the ball to his right, plays in Paqueta, Suchek returns it, Paqueta slips in, uh, Tarami who takes the shot, what a save there by Alte Bayern there. Uh, being a backup goal goalkeeper has definitely not demoralised him, still continue to perform. In between the sticks we've got Garnacho again, back sticks, we're aiming for the back sticks again, Rashford this time around. Ariola makes the save, Suchek in the centre. Piquetta, Suchek, Piquetta, back into Bowen, Vasquez, go on, stop him. Oh, West Ham United are proceeding uh, to make leeway. Oh, well done, well done. Put the block in. Uh, we're going to play out from the back. Delo, tap Subo into Martinez. Let's get forward now. A lot quicker. Fernandez. To Tapsuba. The low. The low. Plays a nice ball forward into Hoyland. Hoyland with the right foot strike. Goes across the keeper again. Another chance gone wasted. Uh, Kudus is on for Jared Bowen. Paqueta. Suchek into Tarami. Putting a challenge. Our oh, referee. Referee's going to apprehend her. Tapsuba. A yellow card's going to be shown. Hopefully, it's not anything worse than a yellow. What's he going to give him? A yellow card. Well, that was expected, to be fair. It was a really poor challenge. It's an Alvarez to step up to take it. Alvarez gets to on target. Binder makes the save. And we need to make these attacks count. 66 minutes on the clock. Still remaining. 1-0 ahead. Oh, what a header there from Osserman. Directed it goalwards. And again, Ariola performing heroics. Keeping her, our attack at bay. So, try to get the ball forward a lot faster now. Mount into Garnacho. Osherman returns it to Garnacho. We've got Gimarej in the centre. We're going to drill it into Gimarej. Overlap and run from Rashford. Rashford, Marcus Rashford, I've gone with the chip. I don't know what is going on with my decision making. Really don't. Oh, what has Euro done? Euro. Oh, come on. Chavi Simmons is having a poor debut. Paqueta, Tarami, ball played over the top. Oh my goodness me, Kudos. Kudos bags the equaliser. I don't understand, I really don't understand how throughout the 90, the 90 minutes we were in control, looking like we was going to score two, three goals. We don't even score anymore after that um, initial goal that goes in from Rashford. And now West Ham United have done what they normally do. They score a goal against the runner play. Only Hoyland put away all of them chances, man. Zuma. Oh, come on. First touch up by Ariola. It's decent. He tries to lump up the pitch. The ball's come uh, back up the other end. And what the hell was that from Anthony? We still got the ball, though. Never you mind. Oh, I just think the ball to myself. Zay Emery. Oh, shit, man. Victor Osserman has backed the winner. A lot of dodgy gameplay went on just then. I chipped the ball to myself with Zaya Emery. It looked like a nice little skill. Uh, he completely, completely bamboozled the fullback. He plays the ball squared on into the box, um, across the goalkeeper, into Osserman. And it's a simple tapping. Look at that. One last look at this. 
drills it across. Simple tapper for Osterman. Uh, Victor Osterman bagging the winner at Wembley. Dying moments just when I was about to lose hope, give up because the defence let us down uh, in the last minute. Victor Osterman does the trick. And uh, we, don't have to do, we don't have to go through the penalty shootouts. That's one thing I'm happy about. But uh, yeah, again, the decision making in the final third, uh, I need to hang my head in shame because we made it a lot harder than it needed to be. So we have the United players ready to lift up the first trophy of the campaign. The FA Community Shield is won in the last minute by Manchester United. Lissandro Martinez standing in for Bruno Fernandes is doing the honours. Okay, despite conceding at the end, what a performance in the first half. Second half, I don't know what happened. Uh, we, we still kept the pressure on them, but we weren't as comfortable as we seemed in the first half. Uh, we was playing some lovely football, Rembo in full effect. It's just the decision-making needs tweaking a bit. And then uh, I feel like my players will definitely be ready to take on what's ahead of us in the, in the campaign up ahead. So, uh, yeah, we're just uh, going to complete this press conference and head off into the menu. So we finally got for Kyle Tomori out of the way. So uh, the Glazers have considered this a B um, B grade signing. He's going to be an 88 rated player, which means he can actually walk into the starting 11 playing next to Martinez. But we're not going to do that, as you guys already know. Tapsuba is our first choice um, centre back in this partnership. Uh, then it's going to be Martinez. I feel like these two, they're a rock at the back together. For Kyle Tomori, is just here for competition. And if any of these centre backs slip up, just know Tomori's just there waiting to be called upon. Bone dry, well almost bone dry. Uh, we pro pretty much got roughly 20 million remaining to spend and uh, there's nothing else that we need to go in for. I know the left back position has got a, got a bit of a gap in it. Last season I was complaining about Malassia and Luke Shaw. We're stuck with Malassia and we're also stuck with Alvaro Fernandez for the time being. Uh, we're not going to make any moves in regards to the left back position but again Jose uh, Herrera, he's still on my list. We played against him in preseason. He looked impressive. One thing we also need to mention, Bruno Fernandes, Lindelof, um, even Sam, John Sam Johnson, even though he just joined, and Hannibal Medjbury, they are um, expecting their contracts to expire at the end of this uh, at the end of this season. Hopefully, we can actually come to an agreement with Bruno Fernandes and we don't have a, have a fallout with him. Hopefully, he actually plays well this season and he earns a new deal. Well, technically, he doesn't have to earn a new deal. He's our, he's our captain, but we're going to negotiate one soon enough. No matter what obstacles are ahead of us, we are going to always try to go for the quadruple. So, having a, a massive uh, squad depth, really good squad depth, won't hurt us, especially the fact that we've upgraded uh, to ultimate. Benfica, they're the next side on the plateau. Memphis Depay, he, he's joined uh, Benfica. It's an odd move for him. A really good move for Benfica to have a player like him in their side. Another player to keep an eye on is Dedic. He's the right back currently. So, um, yeah, I could see myself outplaying Benfica the way we outplayed PSV the last time uh, around. We are going to head off into the press conference as per usual and talk about the starting 11. So, we're going to have a first team debut, a competitive debut for Diogo Costa. He's going to be in between the sticks for this game against Benfica. At the back, we also have the low Tapsuba, Martinez, and Malasso. In the midfield, we have Tonali, Gimenez, and Bruno Fernandes. On the right hand side, is Garnacho. Osimen is going to be starting. Rashford is playing off the left hand side. On that show on the ball. Plays a nice inviting ball to the left hand side. Rashford crosses it in. Back into the centre. Oh, come on. What's Garnacho doing there? Why is he not locked on? Go on, Rashford. Oh, tussles for the ball. We come out on top. Gimerej. Osimen. Osimen. 1 0. 1 0. Seven minutes in. We take the lead. A lot of ball watching from Benfica. And it looks like we're here to overpower them. Jao Victor, Morato, Dedic, slips in at Neves, he plays it in Cabral, takes a right foot strike outside the box. Diogo Costa called into action for the first time of this match, his first save. It's not a safe lead. We are the side that's uh, playing the better football, but right now we don't have the ball. You can only score goals when you've got the ball. There's uh, Bruno Fernandes. Garnacho, we win the ball high up the pitch and now it looks like we can break away. Garnacho through on goal. Garnacho takes the shot again. Trubin pulls off a fantastic save. Denies us a second goal. We need to make up for that one. We've got a corner kick down this right hand side. The United fans are definitely pumped up. Oh, well done. Osterman wins the ball from Shao Victor. Go on, Garnacho. Oh, what a ball into Rashford. 
Rashford plays it into the centre. Bruno Fernandes, first touch poor. Bruno Fernandes slips through. Oh, how's he done that? How's he done that? Bruno Fernandes, true class there. I gave up on him. I can't lie. I can't lie. As his coach, I lost faith. But he managed to slip his way through and he tucks it into the bottom left corner of Trubin's net. It's 2-0 on the, on the stroke of half-time. Look at this. Just shimmies to the right. Fake shot to the right. And just picks his corner. Got goals from uh, Victor Oshiman and Bruno Fernandes. Captain Magnifico. Bruno is going to turn. Play, plays it forward into Osman. Osman shields the ball well. Garnacho thinks it into the centre. Oh, Jean Victor's there. I was hoping Rashford could get on the end of that. The attack is still alive. Gemarez, left foot strike. And Truben pulls off a save again. Bruno, the low. Back into Bruno. Bruno, referee, man. Both of them went in on him. Who was that Memphis Depay? Give him a yellow card. I want to see a card shown to him. Part-time wrap-up. Trying to do drillings on the pitch. Referee, give him a yellow card. Thank you. Marcus Rashford steps up to take the free kick. He's going to put his foot through it. Tests out the keeper. He definitely does. Luis. Oh, well done. Thank you. Delo puts a foot in. Benfica still have the ball. What a challenge there from Diogo Delo. Benfica haven't really caused us problems in this game. And uh, it's a testament to our defence. 73 minutes on the clock. Ball goes in. Header from Rafa. And uh, Costa can kind of easily deal with his uh, fellow countryman's head up. Headed downwards. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Who's this? Anthony. Bruno. Martinez. Kimmerich can turn. I'm going to drill this into Rasmus Hoyland. Uh Malasia, early ball goes in. Bruno Fernandes, 3-0. 3-0, that's a brace for the captain. What a, what an early cross in from uh, Malasia. Look at this patient play, patient build up. Hoyland plays it to his left and a nicely whipped in ball. Meets the head of uh, our captain, Bruno Fernandes. And he's gone and uh, made it 3-0. Truben beaten for the third time in this evening. To Morato. 79 minutes on the clock. Oh, well done. Rasmus Hoyland wins the ball high up the pitch. Are we going to punish them? I think we are. Rasmus Hoyland through on goal, up against Truburn. 4-0. Four 4-0. Nil. Four nil. We've hit them for four. It's half the amount of goals we scored last season. Uh, but we'll take it because overall the performance has been fantastic. Defensively and getting forward, uh, we have been marvellous. Simply marvellous. Point a challenge. Oh, Rafa's there. Jean Mario. Ooh, there's a ball played into Memphis Depay. What a save. What a save on this debut. Diogo Costa not trying to be beaten too easily. Delo slips in a Anthony. Oh, we're, we're through. We're set through on goal. Anthony, ball rolls. Gets a pass. Oh, gets past the Jean Victor. Cuts in. Gets the shot off. Truben again alert to that. Makes the save again. Clean sheet in the bag. 4-0. 4, -nil. Four -nil in the... UEFA Super Cup final against Benfica. The Europa League champions have been sunken by the two-time, well, not two-time, I would say five-time, five-time European champions, Manchester United. Well, we won it twice in a row. That's what I was trying to go for. Um, I love getting positive results at the start of the season. Sets us up for the Premier League kickoff. And uh, there we have it. Like I said, the ninth major trophy. Okay, so while those players celebrate, we are going to take a look at the match facts. 50-50 in terms of possession. So with Bruno Fernandes, Mount and Xavi Simmons like basically gunning for that creative role in the midfield, in the midfield three, it's going to take some time for Xavi Simmons to actually settle in. Again, he's coming off the bench, being a passenger as well as like uh, Emery. Uh, we, we need to give him some time to gel into the system. But overall, positives to take from this game. Bruno Fernandes, our captain, putting in an outstanding performance. Diogo Costa pulling off magnificent saves as well. Jao Vic, uh, not Jao Victor, Victor Ostermen, he's done well. So has Hoyland. I feel like uh, everyone on the pitch has uh, put in their two cents. These are the sides that are taking part in the Premier League in the 25-26 season. So we have a uh, commentary who have been promoted. Same with Burnley. You guys already know. Norwich have been uh, promoted as well and uh, as you guys can see these are the sides who remained in the Premier League last season uh, we had um, 
the bottom three that which consisted of Leeds United I think it was Brighton and Southampton they're, they're gone too so uh, yeah hopefully we get off to a flying start as you guys already know we got Chelsea like we did at the start of last season we beat them 2-1 in the opening day can we go ahead and repeat the same result if not let's go and uh, smash them uh, because we are a different side we're a different kettle of fish playing different football and I just feel like everything seems a lot more fluid in the midfield I'm really confident that we can go on to actually uh, uh, dominate uh, the Premier League and turn it into a Farmers League. As you guys can see, Chelsea, have they had any other um, additions? So I see Gillette, the left back, Danilo, the centre back. Who else? Rui Silva, did they have them last season? I can't remember. Really can't. But other than that, I don't see uh, why we can't go on to win. The tactical vision remains the same, it's standard. And uh, yeah, we're going to head off into the press conference, do the press conference, build up the morale. So this is when each game of 90 minutes starts to count. We need to put one on the board early on in the season. We've got a 5.30 p.m. kickoff. We're starting off late on a Saturday evening and uh, hopefully we can get over the line. As you guys can see, the team sheet, there's nothing uh, changed at all. We're going to go in with the regular team sheet. Fring Pong is going to remain on the bench and uh, we're going to have Diogo Dolo start and Tomori is going to remain on the bench as well. We've got uh, Simmons on the bench alongside Hoyland, Garnacho. In fact, Garnacho needs a start. I feel like Garnacho has to start. He's been playing really well. Um, he's going to start over Anthony. So those are the only changes we are making heading off into the first game against the Premier League. Without further ado, let's get this last game of this episode on the way. Well, Diogo Costa lumping the ball up the pitch. Well, headed down by James. Well, it's uh, cut out by Malassia. Rashford. Okay, we're going to settle things. Tap super. The low. Benali. Switch that play again. The low. Not the low, sorry. Garnacho. The low. Back into Garnacho. Garnacho. On his right foot, it's going to swing this one in. Head off from Rashford. No, nope. it's cleared up by Reese James instead. Malassia uh, tries to control the ball down. Chelsea end up getting possession back. Madweke. Oh, it's giving me the burners already. Madweke trying to go in between uh, Malassia and Martinez. Showing uh, more to the right hand side. Come on, well done, uh, Gimares. Clean tackle, clean tackle. Crowd going wild. They feel like that was a poor challenge. Up the other end, we look to hit them on the break. Go on, Oshiman. Victor Oshiman, through on goal. Victor Oshiman, left foot strike. 1 0. 1 0. Robert Sanchez couldn't stop him. 12 minutes in, we have taken the lead. We've hit them on the break. At one end, there was shouts for a penalty. And uh, we've ignored that. We've played to the whistle. And uh, we've actually made them pay. As a Man United player, has tapped Zuba. Martinez, Malassia, Tapsuba, plays it to the right, Delo drills it into Bruno Fernandes, he tries to burst into space, he does, he ignores Enzo Fernandes, Marcus Rashford on the left hand side, I try to open up his body, try to get into the opposite corner, it's just gone wide on the right hand post, the fans are responding by singing their hearts up, I'm afraid that's not going to be enough. The 12th man is never going to be enough. Oshiman, oh my goodness me. <laughs> Robert Sanchez, magnificent stop there. But Oshiman was about to score a really good goal. Nice ball played into him. Tonali, Malassia, Martinez, Tapsuba. Go on, Bruno. Bruno, oh, the sassy goes down to ground. Bruno ignores the challenge, tries to drill it into the box. Danilo gets it away. Marino. Reese James. Oh, well done, Malassia. Going to hook that away with uh, Martinez. Gimarej plays it to his right. The low. Let's go. We're, 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 we're running a lot of yards. We're running a lot of yards and we're overrunning them as well. We're doing really good at just overrunning them. And uh, whenever... Chelsea, they commit a lot of bodies forward. 
We turn defence into attack rather quickly. Our counter-attacking displays is just second to none. And again, Captain Magnifico is on the score sheet back-to-back -back games to Enzo Fernandez. Jaden Sancho. Tonali comes across to scare him off. Oh, what a challenge by Tonali. Wins the ball cleanly from Gillette. Uh, slips in, gone at you. Oh my goodness me. Rashford in acres of space. Marcus Rashford takes the ball down, gets the shot off. The sassy cuts across in time to put in a block. I thought Rashford was going to take the ball down a lot faster. But then again, the ball was hanging in the air for so long. Probably would have had time to make a cup of tea by the time it got controlled down by Rashford. Come on, well done, Delo. It's uh, playing really well down that right hand side for us. Melassa flicks it on. Gimarej. Oh, there we go. Marcus Rashford plays it in behind into Oshaman. Victor Oshaman through on goal. Tries to take a shot with his left foot. Robert Sanchez stops him from bagging the second goal. Chelsea are just completely, completely a shadow of themselves right now. Madweke. He's just going to keep getting contained down that left hand side. Well done, Gimarej. Good strength from the resilient. Oh no, what have I done there? Okay, <laughs> we survived that. Costa. Martinez. Molassa into Rashford. Going to play into the gap into Martinez. Gimarej overlapping. Gimarej inside the penalty area. Oshaman could turn. Right foot strike. Tried to finesse it top left. And uh, Robert Sanchez this time around. Actually stops that, makes the save. We've got a corner kick. Come on, Bruno Fernandes smashed this one in. Nice cross. Header from Martinez. Definitely cleared off the line by Reese James. Uh, Robert Sanchez definitely looked beaten in that moment. Marino to Sassi. Marino into Casado. Chelsea trying to up the tempo in the midfield. And they've just been caught out in possession yet again. And uh, I feel like they're not learning from the way they conceded a second goal. Playing about with the ball, playing about with possession, and they've been punished. They've been punished. We've hit them on a break yet again, and Victor Osman bags himself a brace. Oh my God, we're going to be a force to be reckoned with. If we're dealing with Chelsea like this, other sides in the Premier League, you need to watch out. Victor Osman, he's back, and uh, he definitely has an eye for goal. Currently, we are doing whatever we want with Chelsea, so we're going to make some changes. Xavi Simmons, he's on for Bruno Fernandes, Rasmus Hoyland. Hoyland, come on, get around Hassassi. Hoyland does well. He does well to drop Hassassi. Hoyland crosses it in, back post. Rashford, it's a nice save from uh, Sanchez. I'm going to try this again. Back in the centre. Oh, why is Xavi Simmons taking a touch? Why has he done that? All he needed to do was just head it. He looked like he controlled the ball with his head. What a weird animation. Ball distributed. Hoyland, oh, I tried to flick over the Sassi. 13 minutes remaining in this game. Reese James running out of options. Rashford supporting uh, Molassa. Reese James still has the ball. What is going on? Come on, man. What is going on there? Reese James literally nutmegged one of my players from behind. Oh, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Oh, no. Marino. Marino. Well done. Tamori cuts across and puts him off. Does enough there. And uh, let's see if he actually does win the ball. He does actually touch the ball. <laughs> and we've got the three points. We won 3 0. On our opening day, 5.30 p.m. kickoff, we have dismantled Chelsea in our own back garden. Uh, we've got a brace from Victor Oshiman. Bruno Fernandes scored the second goal, a magnificent counter-attacking goal. And uh, Diogo Costa keeps a clean sheet on his debut. Uh, happy days, happy days. Uh, look at this, 54% to 46% uh, against Chelsea. As you guys can see, the attempts on goal, 11 attempts to their 5, expected goals 3 to their 0.7. We've taken um, all the chances, uh, we've taken as many chances, I should say, as we could in that game. I feel like, uh, again, another dominating performance, just like the West Ham and the uh, and, uh, Benfica match. Victor Osherman, man of the match yet again. Bruno Fernandes, second in command uh, for the second game running. Magnificent performances from those two players in front of goal. Rashford, again, getting himself uh, goal involvement, two assists. Martinez, solid at the backs. Same with uh, Costa, Malassia, Tapsuba and Dolo. Uh, no, we could be sitting in the menu for days. Everyone's just playing really well. Obviously, the cameos off the bench. 
Uh, they were passengers. Again, Xavi Simmons is not looking good, but Zion is okay. Can't wait to get season three on the road. Everything just suggests that this is going to be a fantastic season. Uh, what, a, what a way to start the campaign. 2-1 victory against West Ham United. Dominant performance despite conceding a late equaliser and having to go on and uh, score a, a late winner. And then we, we went and dominated Benfica. 1-4-0. Smashed Chelsea 3-0 on the opening day of the season in their own back garden. Yeah, the Premier League has not really taken its shape just yet. There's a few sides that haven't played. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six in total remaining to play their games in the league. Uh, but yeah, as you guys can see, we're on top of the table. Not that it matters, like I said. In the next episode, I don't know who... I don't know who we're going to be taking on. I really don't. Because um, right now, the lineup of games aren't looking that enticing on the eye. But we we just got to play what's in front of us. Most likely, we'll meet up again at Fulham just for the deadline day. And then uh, play Newcastle United right after that game. And then we'll see what happens after that. Because the Champions League group uh, phase hasn't been drawn just yet.